what's up? It's Randy. Going kayaking today. And welcome to another episode of my channel. I'm going to vlog it. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, just go out and get some sun. I haven't had the time to, to get out and, uh, and kayak that much this year. Um, so I had a little time today. So I thought, hey, good time to go. Gotta order some food first. <laughs> hey, good. How's it going? Uh, you guys doing breakfast right now, right? Only breakfast. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I would like the two for five uh, sausage McMuffin with egg and a large diet coke. That'll do it. Awesome, thanks. Yeah. Gotta get some food. <laughs> the, uh, I still have, I have the roll-up windows on this truck. At the time that I bought it, um, I considered it an upgrade because all my other, I had two other Toyotas besides this Toyota. I had a 1990 and a 1996. Both had no air conditioner, and um, they were both manual transmission, which was pretty cool to drive around manual transmission. I kind of kind of missed that a little bit, but um, uh, and they all had roll windows. And um, when I saw this one, it was what I wanted, um, but it was upgraded to the. Uh, automatic transmission and it had AC built in and uh, which was like I said first go for first car that I had with with built-in AC and then uh, but it still has the roll windows I wish I would have got the power windows but um, <sighs> I guess they say what two out of three ain't bad <laughs> but, <laughs> but I gotta roll up the damn windows man but anyway um, yeah I'm, I'm heading to Lake Natoma my normal spot to kayak and um yeah i got all my got all my stuff just quick and easy you know i was able to uh oh shit uh my oh man <laughs> my thing fell down hang on hang on hang on can you hear me now all right can you see me now yeah this thing um I'm not sure what's going on with this uh, holder. It was working awesome. I really liked it a lot, but now it's falling off the window for some reason. But anyway, um, yeah, heading to do some kayaking. Haven't had a lot of time to kayak this year, um, so I just had a little time today. So just decided to head out there, stopping by McDonald's, get some food, got my stuff. It, like I said, it was pretty quick and easy to um, load up. Um, the way I got the kayak stored in my garage, I can um, put them up and down pretty fast versus what how I had them before, which I haven't really talked about that, I don't think, but um, I used to have them like um, with these straps uh, uh, doubled on the wall and it was kind of a pain in the ass. But anyway. Yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Can I have a receipt, please? Awesome. You too. Thank you. All right. Yeah, as I was saying, um, got these new racks. Yeah. Could I get a little bit of uh, like grape jelly? Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, here we go. They're doing all, this is Hazel Avenue, so you know they're doing construction. Man, I used to work um, for a landscape company 
way back, I think I was just out of high school and we had a few accounts up Hazel towards 50 up this way. And it seems like they were working on the same thing back then. It's like they never, it's like they never finish it. Um, it's the craziest thing, man. I mean, they, they constantly are doing construction on Hazel and, um, and you know, I know it's a major, uh, thoroughfare and they're, I guess they're widening it, but man, it's just like they, they can never finish. How many years ago was that? It was 40 years ago, probably. So, wow. You know, but if things have grown, I guess, I guess they're probably just still maybe adding another lane or something, but it just seems like they just never finish it. But anyway, back to what I was saying, I got these new racks. Um, they're like these T racks that hang down from the rafters in the garage and you can put the kayaks up on those and it makes it real quick and easy. My thing fell down again. Uh, to, um, what do you call it? Uh, put, you know, just grab it, put it in my truck, tie it in and go. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's the other way. It was kind of a pain in the ass. I had to wrap these straps around it and then hang them from these hooks onto these other hooks on the wall. Man, what a pain in the ass that was, you know, but it, it got them out of the way at least, but I would always dread getting them down because I knew I had to put them back up again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and do do a little uh, kayaking today. Um, should be fun. I'm uh, going to the um, Lake Natoma, the normal spot. Um, done vlogs out here before. Um, um, yeah, what else? Um, I love this time of year. It's hot in, in Sacramento. It's a good day to do this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, man, I'm just <laughs> doing, <laughs> decided to do a little beach day or uh, whatever they call it, you know, kayak day. Uh, I don't know if you can see back there. You can see my kayak just kind of hanging off the back. Yeah, it fits in there pretty good. Um, I, and then I just tie it in and then I'm able to shut down my um, camper shell, the window in the back, you know, so it's just kind of sticking out. Plus it's bright green, so I don't need to put a flag on it or anything like that because <laughs> I'm pretty sure people can see it. And it doesn't, it doesn't really stick out that far actually. But all right, we're getting close over here. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Um, and I'll, uh, man, I wish this thing would work. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Let me try it again. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if that works for a few minutes anyway. It's a state park, it's $10. They do have a yearly rate, but it's it's kind of expensive. Unless you go a lot, it's it it's not really worth it. But it is um, something that uh, is an option. Hey, how you doing? I'm here to just for the day, I guess. Is it, how much is it? Ten? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I saw it right there too. Um, you guys have a yearly thing, don't you? Oh, uh, how much is that? Just just out of curiosity. One hundred twenty-five. Yeah, that's actually, maybe I'll have to do that next year. next year. I thought it was even more than that. I thought I, I inquired about it a while back and I thought it was even like 170 or something like that. So I thought it was kind of expensive, but, but 125 doesn't sound too bad actually, but yeah. Can you go to all the state parks and everything? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll consider doing that, but I'll, today I'll just, I'll just pay the, the one day. <laughs> looks like I got a filter on or something. Kind of weird. <laughs> oh boy.
Okay. All right, just put this in the window. And, uh, all right, uh, you too. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, well, I found out about the uh, the yearly thing. It's 125 and that actually isn't too bad, really. Um, I may consider doing that next year. I just have to uh, make sure I'm going to use it. But here we are. Oh, you know what? I forgot my... God dang it. I forgot my little wheel thing. So I'm going to have to uh, park this down. I'm going to shut this off. I'll, I'll tune in in a few minutes here. All right, back again. What's up? Got my uh, sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. The usual for this place. Mmm, so good. It's not super crowded out here right now. It will be later though. Looks like over at the aquatic center, they're having some kind of um, kids class or something like that. Maybe to train them to get on a paddle board or something. Looks like there's a bunch of, um, bunch of people over there actually. It looks like people are renting the kayaks and stuff. But yeah. I'm just gonna eat this real quick and then uh, I'm parked kind of right by the boat dock so I, sh I forgot my little cart so I should be uh, able to just carry it down there it's kind of a pain in the butt that's why I bought the cart but I forgot it anyway all right I'm ready to carry this thing down to the boat dock I got my life jacket my two dry bags I keep my keys and my wallet and stuff in the little one and then the towel and some waters and stuff like that in the other one and then where I'm going is right there so it's not too far of a walk I'm just mad at myself for not bringing the the little roller the little cart that I have because I bought it specifically for this and it fits right in the back right here too so and it's pretty lightweight but I just forgot it in the garage today <laughs> all right I will be uh checking back in in a minute all right <laughs> out on the lake now yeah it's kind of congested over there by the boat dock they have um these little teeny remote control boats i'm not sure if i showed those last time i i should take a little video of those um and then they they do have um a lot of it must be like some uh, summer camps or something like that but there's a lot of kids like paddle boarding and kayaking and uh, going on the little sailboats and stuff like that um, I'm gonna flip the camera over here real quick as you can see there's the the dam right there that is the congestion right there over by the boat dock up, up there you can see those little remote control boats those aren't in the way it's just there's a lot of people um putting kayaks in and then there's a lot of people over at the aquatic center too which is cool i mean it's a perfect day for it but yeah here i am out in the lake awesome got the sunscreen on i'm gonna go over to my spot which is kind of way over there, straight ahead, actually. And then I'm gonna uh, do some swimming, kind of hang out. I'll check back in. All right, see ya. All right, <laughs> made it to the shore here. Uh, yeah, what a nice day it is today. I feel the breeze blowing a little bit. It's supposed to get pretty hot though. It's supposed to be about um, 90, Five, I want to say today it's not gonna be in the hundreds but um, it's definitely gonna be pretty hot good for swimming 
this is my spot here. There it is. This is usually where I pull over and uh, swim a little bit. As you can see, the way over there is the beach area. And there's the geese there. But yeah, pretty awesome. All right, I just jumped in and it was, oh man, it was so cold. My gosh, like a shock to the system. Oh my God, it instantly cooled my body temperature down. But um, yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's not super hot yet. So the water's, it def you definitely feel the cold of the water. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is the same spot I pulled over on my last video. I kind of just come here most of the time. But um, yeah, I don't know if you see me, uh, if you see in my lip, I, I decided to try those, um, it's called Canna Dips. And uh, I got one free out at the motocross race. So I tried it and I've heard a lot of different things about CBD, you know, the benefits and stuff like that. and. Uh, and and as you get older, I've heard a few people talk about it and stuff like that. And um, so I decided to try it and it's actually not too bad. There's no, there's no nicotine in it or tobacco or anything like that. And, uh, and honestly, I don't feel really any effects from it. Um, and, and you don't, you know, it doesn't have the THC in it. So it's not like you're gonna get high from it. And um, one thing I do notice is if I, if I do too many, like, you know, throughout the day or like in a, in a row, I do kind of feel a little bit, it almost makes you feel a little bit nauseous a little bit. But um, some of the effects they say helps with like anxiety and depression and um, sleep. And I haven't noticed anything with that kind of stuff really, but, but, but the sleep part, I actually have noticed it. So I put one of these things in like right before bed and I'm usually able to fall asleep pretty fast for the most part. I mean, there's some days that I can't uh, fall asleep right away and stuff like that, but, um, but it's, it's, I think it really does help with that. I've just heard a few things about it. So I thought I would try it. It's non addicting. It might be habit forming. I actually used to be a chewer, a uh, dipper, uh, chew different kinds of dip. Um, from like Skull Lanka to Copenhagen for a while. And you know, even the early on the Skull Bandits and stuff like that. And these kind of resemble like the little Skull Bandit pouches. But I feel, you know, I feel pretty good about trying it. You know, um, they're doing a lot of things with CBD these days. And um, I don't know, you know, maybe a little bit here and there might be a good thing. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, Beautiful day out here, man. Yeah, I, I, uh, I wanted to show you the can. This is the one I just ordered. It's watermelon and it's called Canna Dips and they're out of Humboldt, of course. <laughs> it's uh, pretty obvious that they'd probably be coming from that area. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You get like, uh, I wanna say like 15 pouches and there's 10 milligrams of CBD in each pouch. I a lot of times I'll put two in, but sometimes I'll just put one. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I just thought I'd try it and see you know if it had any any natural effects you know to help you with certain things and stuff like that. Um, but I have noticed the sleep, like I said, um, I feel like I can fall asleep a little bit better than I used to and stuff like that. Um, not that I've had a real bad time sleeping, it's just sometimes I get wound up and, you know, doing stuff before bed and it takes me a while to un un unwind, I guess, a little bit, you know, but this kind of seems to help a little bit, you know. Um, but um, yeah, so just for that reason, you know, it's kind of cool. And then, uh, I don't know, kind of, like I said, I used to be a, a tour, you know, I, 
I was able to stop, which I, I was very glad that I was able to stop because that I've heard that that's one of the hardest things to quit is chewing tobacco and, and nicotine in general, you know, smoking obviously and stuff like that, you know, it's very hard to, to quit. The tobacco, I did it for on and off for several years. I mean, I can even remember doing it in high school, you know, we'd go up to the bottle shop in Auburn because we had an open campus in Auburn and buying a can of chew for like, seriously, I think it was only 50 cents back then, maybe 75 cents or something like that for a can of Copenhagen. And um, yeah, just, you know, things kids do, you know, just think they're cool and stuff like that. I've even smoked a little bit here and there, cigarettes and stuff like that. Um, clove cigarettes back in the 80s, you know, never really got into it too much, but just dabbled in it a little bit. And that's kind of what I did with the chew also. But um, yeah, this kind of gives me that kind of, I don't know, kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but it, you don't get any nicotine effects from it or anything like that or any kind of, um, you know, it's just kind of something to do, you know, you get a little, it's just one way to get the CBD in your system but it seems to be pretty cool. Yeah, I wanted to see if you guys could uh, let me know if you do take CBD. Some of my subscribers are my age and, or even older and uh, just wondered, you know, if they, uh, if any of you guys take CBD for I any reasons or anything like that, or even younger people too, you know. Um, but I've heard as, as you age, you know, CBD can help with uh, the aging process and stuff like that, you know. So I just thought it would be, uh, pretty cool to try because I got that free can at the, at the motocross and then uh, ended up buying a couple more cans but I really like the mango it's, it's called canna dips is what it's called canna dips and the mango is really good and then I think the tropical fruit is the uh, is the other one that I've tried um, something like that tropical something I forget what it's called and then I just recently bought the watermelon. The watermelon's pretty good. The flavor doesn't last as long as I th thought it would, but it does taste pretty good. But yeah, just kind of uh, just wondering what you guys thought about uh, the CV, the whole CBD thing, and they're using it for a lot of different things. I, I know they have it in like lotions and and uh, oils and stuff like that that you can rub on your you know face and hands. And I'm not exactly sure what. Uh, what all they have but um but yeah it's just kind of one way to to get it and it, um, just slip it right in your lip and <laughs> reminds me of when i used to chew tobacco <laughs> but anyway <whew. laughs> just jumped in again man that water is cold my gosh instantly it's like takes your breath away oh my god but uh yeah yeah, just hanging out. It's not as busy as I thought it was other than those camps. They must have a kids camp or something like that over at the aquatic center. I've seen a few big groups of um, kids kayaking and they have their a lady with a boat that kind of circles around them. And, and, um, and I know they're giving uh, paddleboard lessons over there and stuff like that. And uh, so that part of it's pretty, pretty busy but the rest of the lake is actually pretty mellow I mean I can only see there's a kayak coming by me right here but um, I only see like one two three and then over in the distance a couple more but yeah it's a pretty pretty mellow day I'm out here pretty early actually so um, I mean it must be probably about 11 30 maybe something like that I'm not a hundred percent sure what time it is but it sure feels refreshing <laughs> on a hot day uh, Saturday is supposed to be the real hot day um, 103 around here but um, I won't be able to go kayaking on Saturday but um, but yeah today's the day 95 degrees it's hot enough man water feels good once you get used to it a little bit it's it's not as you know shocking as when you first jump in you know but man it's it's cold it's really cold and uh yeah i got the sunscreen i'm gonna make sure i put a enough sunscreen on i'll probably put my shirt on here in a minute i get sunburned pretty easy 
and uh <laughs> but yeah probably go out and uh jump on the kayak and uh go out to another part maybe we'll go over by the bridge over by highway 50 there's a bike bridge that crosses over there it always has a weird smell to the bridge <laughs> makes you wonder i don't know if it's the metal that they used on the bridge or if it's some kind of chemical over there or something like that i never swim over there just for that reason but um it does smell weird and i i have a feeling it might be the metal that they used on the uh bridge but the bridge has been there for years it seems like the smell would have went away by now but it does have a real strong smell kind of like a petroleum smell <laughs> i guess i don't know something like that kind of a gas gassy smell <laughs> uh but anyway uh yeah i'll head over that way and uh show you all right see ya okay this is the bridge that i was telling you about and i'm getting the smell right now I'm trying to turn around turn straight here you know what i think it is it's, it's a, it looks like it's a wood bridge so it's probably what they treat the wood with is the smell that makes sense it's probably some kind of uh treatment that they like that like they put on the railroad ties on the railroad and stuff like that that's what i'm thinking probably has that kind of uh has that kind of smell to it really but yeah this is kind of nice over here it's hard to work but yeah, I'm really getting the smell of it right now. But it is wood. I actually thought it was a metal bridge at first, but just a few minutes ago before I started filming, um, there was a truck that went over it. And yeah, I'm underneath it right now and it's definitely wood, yeah. So it has to be the stuff that they treat the wood with is what smells. It's not as strong as it used to be. So maybe they treated it Maybe last year, and the smell's wearing off. Possibly, but I do smell it still. But yeah, that's got to be the reason. It's a nice shady spot right here. Oh yeah, smelling it. But yeah, it's got to be the the wood. I always thought it was a metal bridge. <laughs> I've been over here before too, but. I guess I just never really paid attention, <laughs> but yeah, that's Highway 50 over there. And they got the, uh, looks like that's the Folsom Auto Mall over there. I think that's the uh, Chevy place there and then on down, they all connect. There's uh, the Ford place and Kia and all that over there. Yeah, there's Highway 50. That's the area I came from right there. Yeah, I guess it just never dawned on me that it was the wood because I always see these metal legs on this bridge. So I always thought the smell came from the metal. Yeah, just cruising around. There's this little island here, right next to me. I think I'm gonna make a circle around and probably go back where I was and swim a little bit more. I'm not sure how late I'll stay out here. This is, uh. It's actually been, uh, it's pretty nice. It's not gonna be too hot, so. Um, probably stay out here another hour and a half or so. But uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, pretty cool.
soaking up the sun. All right, I'm back over in the swimming spot here. Um, yeah, it's, it's starting to warm up now, definitely. I can feel the heat. Uh, it's about 12, almost 12.30 right now. So I'm gonna swim a little bit and then probably start heading back and uh, head home. But I'll probably be out here another, probably at least another hour or so. But uh, yeah, pretty awesome out here. I, I definitely feel it warming up though. All right. All right, pulled off at the beach here. As you can see, the water gets a little more muddy around the beach. I'm just gonna do a little panoramic here. They have lifeguard stations and this is the whole beach area here. Picnic tables, bathrooms over there and over on the other side too. Another lifeguard station there. But the water does get a lot more muddy around here because people swim in the water and it's more uh, sandy and dirt and stuff like that, so it gets a little more muddy. But yeah, getting quite a few people out here now. A new group of people there and quite a few people on the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna swim a little bit and head back to the dock. All right, that's gonna do it for today. What a nice kayak trip, pretty fun. It's getting a little warm out here though. I got everything loaded up, got my kayak in the back. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, let me know what you think about the uh, the CBD. Uh, see if you uh, any, any of you guys have taken it in, uh, in any form, you know, lotions or um, the chewing tobacco uh, pouches, stuff like that. Um, be curious to find out if it's helping you in any other ways besides um, some of the ways that they've described how it helps and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I've discovered that it helps with sleep a little bit better and stuff like that. So let me know what you think. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.